Hey guys, welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to build my multi-floor piston elevator. Now, I've built one of these in the past. However, this one is much faster, and it also has the ability to be shut off at every single floor. I know a lot of people didn't like the older one where you couldn't shut it off. You only could shut it off from the bottom. However, this one, you could shut it off from every floor. So I click this button. As you can see, it goes around in a nice little circle motion. So we can take our elevator to any one of these floors, and then we can also shut it off right here. So what I'm going to do is just come right over here, wait till a uh, half slab comes around, get on the half slab, and just take my elevator up. So I can take it up to the second floor, and then I can turn it off on the second floor by clicking this button. There it goes. And then if I want to start it up again, all I have to do is click the button again. I can walk over here, get back into it, and take it up to the third floor. And now we're at the third floor, and we can click the button on the third floor shut it off now if we want to go back down all we have to do is click the button head in here and we can take the elevator down so we can go back to the second floor however i'm just going to take it all the way back to the first floor we're at the first floor we get on out click the button and it turns off and that's it guys that's how the whole entire thing works it's very very simple multi-floor elevator so let's start building this thing oh you know what let's just look at the redstone real quick too and that's the redstone pretty easy <laughs> so let's start building this thing all right guys so for this build we're going to need a eight by five spacing we're also gonna have to dig down two now for the this build we're going to need one sticky piston five regular pistons ten redstone repeaters six redstone torches two levers three buttons 24 redstone dust 17 stone slabs 14 fence gates we're going to need one piece of sand some blocks of choice i'm going to be using quartz as my walling and smooth sandstone as my flooring and some blocks to put our redstone down on now the stuff i took out right now is to make the frame of the build we're going to do the frame first and then we're going to do the redstone so once you got your eight by five spacing and you've dug down your two come to the bottom left hand corner and count over three blocks so one two three and we're going to put a piston right here facing upwards then to the left of this piston, we're going to put take out our blocks of choice. I'm going to be using quartz as my walling. And we're going to come up 11 blocks next to this piston. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 blocks. Then coming off the side of this block right here, we're going to put a piston facing towards us like so. So it's going to push the stuff up into this piston and then this piston is going to push it this way then off the top of this piston we're going to come over three blocks so one two three and then we're going to put a piston facing downwards right here so take out your piston again and put it facing downwards right here then coming off to the side of this piston we can just bring our frame down again so just put blocks here and bring it all the way down you don't really have to count here you just got to bring it all the way down like that and then right here on this block actually we're going to delete it and put a piston facing this way like so and then put two blocks right here. And then what we're gonna do is just put a, a row of blocks right here in the middle, and then delete this block right here that's in front of this piston, and then down here, delete this block right here that's in front of this piston. And that's gonna be our entire frame for our build. Next, we're gonna put in is our elevators. There's a bunch of multiple elevators. As you can see, there's a bunch of them in here. So it's pretty easy to do it. All you have to do is just put in a slab. Make sure it's not upside down. Make sure it's not like this. Make sure you're putting the slab in regu regularly. Yeah. So it's just like putting a normal slab down here on the grass. Make sure it's like that. Next, what we're gonna do is put two fence gates on top of it. So one, two, and do the same thing again. Put a slab and then go one, two, slab, one, two, slab. And now, oh, not upside down. Make sure there's no block in front of these pistons. Actually, let me take out my green wool. There should not be any blocks in front of these three pistons like that. So I'm gonna leave those there and then we're gonna delete them later. So after the slab is a fence gate, so fence gate here, and then actually you can't put fence gates down unless there's a block underneath it. So what we're gonna have to do is take a bunch of blocks and go like this. So just go like that real quick. So right here is gonna be another fence gate. Then we could delete this block, slab, fence gate, fence gate, slab, fence gate, fence gate, slab, fence gate, fence gate, and now we could delete these blocks that are in front of the pistons. I just did this to make sure you do not place anything in front of those pistons. There should be only one piston that has something in front of it, and it's gonna be this one over here, actually, but for now, it's over here. So that's gonna be all our elevators right there. So now we don't need our fence gates anymore. We're actually gonna still need our slabs for later on. Next, what I want you to do is take out your floor block and we can go ahead and put our floor block in here for now. So just make it look nicer, like that. There we go. Put our floor block in real quick. 
and then we can start doing some redstone. So there we have it. So now we want to start doing some redstone. So what you're going to do is come two blocks over from your actual elevator's frame. So come over one, two, and then we're going to put our buttons here. So let, let me take out actually our redstone stuff. So let's put away some stuff and take out our redstone stuff. So there we go. Do, 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 do. Take out all our redstone stuff. So right here is where our first button's going to go. Then coming off the back of the block, we're going to put a block down with a piece of redstone dust here. So if I click the button, that redstone dust comes on. Then we're going to put a piston facing upwards like that. We don't need our pistons anymore. Take out our sand block and put your sand block on top of that piston. That will create a monostable circuit. Put a block coming out from it with a repeater on one tick delay like so. Then come down a block, put a piece of redstone dust here, and then a block above the repeater like that. Next coming out of this redstone dust, we're going to put a block down with a repeater on four ticks delay. Then we're going to put a piece of redstone dust down here with a block on top of that. A block next to the redstone dust with a torch coming off the side of it. A block on top of the torch. And then a torch coming off the side of this block right here. The torch should go off due to this torch down here. Then coming off the side of this block, we're going to put a sticky piston with a block in front of it. Then on top of the block that has the off torch right here, we're going to put a repeater coming out from this way on four ticks delay come two more blocks out one two put another repeater coming out of this one on four ticks delay put a block in front of it a block to the side and come over four blocks so one two three well four right there you can see that's four <laughs> then we're gonna put a piece of redstone dust down right here then coming out of the dust we're gonna put another repeater on four ticks delay block in front of it and then redstone dust right here next what you can do is come down a block with a repeater coming out of this block with the redstone dust on one tick delay. Put a block in front of the repeater, a block down, put another repeater coming out of this block on one tick delay. Put a block in front of that repeater, come down a block and put a piece of redstone dust here so that should activate this first piston. Then we're gonna come down a block again and put a repeater coming out of this block on four ticks delay. Put a piece of redstone dust in front of it, a block in front of the redstone dust that will activate this piston right here. Then we're going to put another repeater coming out of this block on four ticks delay. Put a block in front of it with redstone dust on top of it. Next, what I want you to do is actually take out your blocks of choice. We don't need our sand blocks anymore. So take out your blocks of choice. I'm going to be using quartz. I'm going to come up another row of quartz right here. So just come all the way up with another row like that. So it should look something like this. And then right over here, we're going to skip one. And right where this row with the dust is, we're going to come up another row right here as well. So just go all the way up with it. Now, right here, we're going to need 10 red uh, slabs. We're going to need 10 slabs. And they all have to be upside down because we're going to be making a slab ladder from this dust right here. So right from this dust, we're going to come over to this side and put a slab upside down like that. So if we put redstone dust here, it will connect to this one. And we're going to do that all the way up. So put a uh, slab right here upside down. And if you, if you see, I put redstone dust here. It will connect it together. And do that all the way up with 10 slabs. So that's one, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last but not least, 10. And then we're gonna put redstone dust along every single slab, like that. And then we could get rid of this uh, row right here. We don't need this row anymore. That was just to get the slabs in faster. There we go. Next, we're gonna do is come up a block right next to this piston with redstone dust. So that will activate this piston. Next, take out your block of choice, put it right here, here, and here. Then we're gonna bring our dust up one more. Coming out of this redstone dust, we're gonna put a repeater on four ticks delay. And then put a piece of redstone dust coming out of that repeater and that will activate this piston right here. And you should be done, that should be everything. So if I click this button, it should make our whole nice spiral motion. So click the button. As you can see, it's going in a nice spiral motion. But as you can see, none of these fence gates are opened up. Now to get these fence gates to open up, all we're gonna do is just turn it off. So if we click the button again, it should turn it off. So we want these fence gates open. So to do that, all we have to do is take out our levers now. And on the bottom block right here, put a lever and open it up like that. Just make sure the lever's down. Just make sure your lever's down that it's powering this block and do the same thing up here as well. Right on this block, the top block, put a lever down and then turn it on. So that will keep the fence gates open forever. So now if I click the button, as you see, it'll go around and it'll open up all our fence gates and keep them open the entire time. 
Let's see how it's opening up all the fence gates. There we go. And that's it. You are completely done. So now all we have to do is just add in our extra levels for our multiple floor. And then also what you want to do is take out your block of choice and just come right behind our elevator so we can't see any of the redstone back here. And just go like this real quick. You just want to hide all your redstone stuff. So just go around the whole outer edges right here just to hide all that redstone. There we go hide all the redstone there we go so all our redstone is now hidden and now we want to make our extra floors you know we want all three floors in here so take out your uh flooring block of course and then we're going to come up three blocks so one two three and then we're going to on the fourth block we're going to make another level like that i'm going to do the same thing one more time where's my son at is my son going down yet yeah it is okay so we're going to do this quick so one two three and then on the fourth block make another level so there's all our levels and then also make sure to delete this block right here this block needs to be uh, gone right there. So just put an extra row right up here like that. There we go. So to put in our extra levels, all we have to do is come out two from each side. So come out two like we did there with that button. And put a button right here and a button right here. And then we know we could actually just fill in this whole wall. Let's just fill in the whole wall. It'll make it easier on us. So just fill in your whole wall. There we go. There we go. And then behind each button, we're going to put a block with a piece of dust. So put a block here with a piece of dust. So if I click the button, the dust comes on. And do the same thing down here with this uh, button right here. So block, dust. So now all we have to do is bring the power from down here all the way down to this dust right here. So on the top button, we're going to put a torch to the side. Come down a block, put a block with a torch to the side. And then dust right here. And do the same thing one more time. So put a torch to the side. A block down. Dust. And then put a torch to the side right here. And it should it's going to activate it right now. So if you don't want to activate it, delete that dust. Put a torch here and then click put the dust right there so now if i click the button all the way up here oh, oh, if i click the button up here and i put the oh i do what the why isn't that activating there we go <laughs> i was like why isn't that activating so as you can see it, it turned on from up here and if i click the button again it turns off and if i click the button on the second level it turns on and if I click the button again, it turns off. And that is it, guys. You are completely done. So all that's left to do is just clean it up and make sure everything looks nice. But as this build progresses, it pretty much keeps everything looking pretty good as you're building it. So that's it. You're pretty, that's pretty much it, guys. So now if I come all the way down here and I click the button, it should turn it on. Get inside the elevator. Go up. I'm on the second floor right here. I can turn it off. So there we go. Click the button. It should go off. There we go. And if I click the button again, it should come on. And then I can get back in the elevator. So I just wait for one of my elevators to come. I get inside. Go all the way to the top. Get out. And then I can click the button up here as well and turn it off. And then if I click the button again, I can turn it on and then take my elevator down. And of course, you can get off on the second floor and turn it off again. But I'm just going to take it all the way down. There we go. And if I click the button again, it turns it off. And we can go on our merry little way. So there you guys have it. That's how you build my simple multi-floor elevator. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a like. And subscribe and stay tuned with my newest videos. All right, guys. Peace.